Hi guys and welcome back to another video. My name is Jennifer Kim Leikvidovic and I'm on the Awareness Raising Revolution mission. So today's video, which will help us to expand our awareness and align with our highest potential, is about why it is extremely dangerous to suppress, ignore and bury your emotions. So we get taught not only especially as females but also as males that we always have to be strong that we always have to be happy and that we always have to say oh no i'm fine it's all good and i get that because it's seen as professional everyone wants to well everyone wants to be professional and being received as professional have it all together blah 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 but here's the thing so for basically 15 years I was suppressing a lot of traumas, a lot of emotions and of course during those 15 years so much more stored up and I, I just exploded like at one point I just completely couldn't, I couldn't manage the weight of all these experiences of all the pain anymore and what what happens then is that you just totally get out of control of that control that you were telling yourself you have to have in order to well seem put together and professional and uh, I have to say that when I started to work on healing and releasing and really going and growing through all these emotions my life has changed completely and I did it like that I was I took the time and wrote down all the things that trigger me, that hurt me, that traumatized me and well that I want to release the, the weight that I don't want to carry within myself anymore. And then I carried this list which I had inside of my journal um, with me and then day by day I just suddenly realized that the universe is constantly giving me the chance to face those fears, to speak about it, to open up, to let light shine upon it, you know. And um, then, of course, I was afraid, I was scared. I, I didn't know if I want to open up about it or, or not, but somehow I took a deep breath and I breathed in the courage to, well, name it, to speak about it. And step by step I gained confidence and then I, I was almost I would say on a mission to face my emotions to face my fears and traumas and everything because once you find out that when you start facing what is haunting you at night or in moments where you are completely by yourself home alone it suddenly it suddenly feels less heavy. Of course, um, it's not gone, you're not healed after talking about it once, but it feels like the weight is reduced by half. And um, then I realized that everything I am manifesting and everything I'm dreaming about will only come true if I grow and go through facing those heavy weights which are pulling me back. Because it's extremely easy to say that other people are dragging me down or my life situation is dragging me down or my job or my boss or my mother or my father or my partner. But what I've learned is, and I can of course only speak based on my own experience, is that the person who was dragging me down mo most was myself. Not my present self that much, but my mind which connected to my past self which then pulled everything into the present moment and made my body believe that what I've experienced 10 years ago is still my current reality and of course this is not true and uh, I know sort of what I'm talking about because when you for example get sexually abused this is something you will never forget in your life and I understand that and um, nevertheless it is not happening right now anymore 
But if we are not dealing with these emotions, if we're not dealing with it and speaking with someone and that someone can be a therapist or a close friend or a mother or if none of that exists, even a stranger. I mean, when I started traveling by myself and I didn't have anyone around which I knew, I, I literally spoke with strangers because there is some liberation in speaking to someone who doesn't know you at all because he or she cannot judge. And I found freedom and liberation in it. And I'm so grateful for all these strangers who were patiently listening to me because I wasn't brave enough to speak about these things with someone who knows me because I was afraid of judgment and I was afraid that Mm. I don't know, I, w I was afraid that I will not be interesting or clean enough or innocent enough for someone who knows me anymore. But then after I started to deal with my emotions and I received neutral to always positive feedback, the people told me, how brave I am to speak about it, how unique it is to open up and to just speak out loud about things like binge eating or, or all these small or big addictions we as humans have, our bad behaviors, habits, patterns, whatever it is. And then somehow I gain so much confidence and power by sharing and receiving the feedback that I wanted to share more because I always had the feeling that we as a society, we carry so much shame and guilt and fear and anxieties and, and traumas deeply within us and then we feel like it's a shame to talk about it or we're the only ones and everyone else seems so happy and put together and that discourages us to, well, speak our truth. But in reality, what I've realized and learned and observed is that every single person has a backpack, small or big, full of those things. There's no difference and it, there's no difference in gender, there's no difference in, in nationality, there's no... Well, there's a, there's a difference in age, of course, because sometimes... Well, when someone is 60, usually they have experienced more than someone who's 10 years old. But we all have it and I just hope that when you watch this video that you gain the confidence and the courage and that you decrease the feeling of shame and guilt because when we sit alone with our emotions that, that creates separation and loneliness and when we open up and share our stories, speak our truths and, and just allow other people to see us and our stories, then the connection of the collective consciousness gets stronger and we as societies, as humanity, get more bonded and that is beautiful. And I hope for the future that our societies will peacefully coexist, that everyone just becomes more aligned with his her its source and that we decrease all these negative vibes because seriously, negativity is created by the mind but never by source, God, universe. The world always wants us to be happy and healthy and fulfilled and wealthy. Suffering is created by the mind and that can only be reduced by shining light upon it, talking about it, releasing and then recharging with higher, higher beliefs, po more positive thoughts. So... I hope you, whoever you are, be brave, be courageous, step into your, tr into your true essence, speak your truth, open up. Because one light can literally, literally light up 
10,000 more. And that's exactly what we need. Thank you so much for watching.